Right, so this is just a quick tutorial on creating your PK presentation. Um, at this point, you should have verified your email. If you haven't, um, you'll see a link here between Join Us and Four Schools. Go ahead and click on that and use the code that was emailed to you from PK in order to do that verification. Um, after the verification, by coming back to this site, you're able to come to the Create tab at any point in order to get back to this screen. Um, on the screen, pretty simple, add a title. Um, you can also add um, a description so people will be able to see what your PK is about. Probably something a little more descriptive than mine. Um, and then go ahead and leave it in the 2020 format. Uh, it's actually the only option, so that's pretty easy. And at this point, we can click Save and Next. On this screen, we're able to actually add our photos. Just a couple things to keep in mind. Um, they should be horizontal in JPEG or PNG uh, file format and under 3,000 or 1,300 pixels. Um, you can upload one larger, um, but it will crop it down and it may not be exactly what you like, so it might be easier just to edit them um, to the right size uh, prior to trying to upload them. Um, and then we have two options for uploading. Um, you can drag and drop them or browse out and um, choose the files. You can do one at a time, five at a time. Um, you can do all 20 at once. Um, once you've added photos, you'll see them um, down here in the slides area. At this point, you can start moving photos around if they're not in the right order um, that you'd like them in. You can choose your cover image, which is basically a thumbnail that will show on the PK site. Um, when people are choosing a PK to listen to, and then you can change your background color as well. Um, you can also just leave them on the standard settings. You do have to have 20 images uploaded to move on to the next step. So I'm going to go ahead and add uh, the rest of my photos at this point. Once they're in, you can see all 20 uh, pictures there. Again, you can move things around um, if you need to. And then once you have everything, uh, as you'd like them and in the order you'd like, go up to the top and click on save and next. At this point, it's going to upload the slides, all of the images, that's gonna take a few minutes or a minute or so, and uh, then we'll move on to the audio portion of the steps. All right, so my slides have uploaded, um, and now I'm on the audio portion. There's two options here. You can basically forget about this one. You won't probably have an audio file that you're going to match up to your pictures. Um, and you have no audio to keep, so ignore that one for now. Um, over on the record audio side, you have two options. You can record um, your audio per slide um, or try and do the entire presentation at once. Um, whichever one you choose, um, we do recommend going ahead and practicing um, your presentation, either recording them by slide or doing the entire presentation. This ultimately will be the audio that is associated with your pictures on the PK site. Um, and then we'll also be recording the, the session um, via Zoom um, that you do in person. So um, they'll both exist, um, but we do recommend that your, your practice session and the very last one, um, that you go ahead and record the entire presentation so that um, the audio is there for the PK site itself. So um, to record, you can click on one of the options. Um, if you want to do it per slide, um, you go to the first slide option and go ahead and click on start recording. And then it will give you the countdown. At this point, you should be going through whatever script um, you've created for that particular photo. Um, and then once we get up to 20 seconds, um, which would be the the amount of time you have to speak on this particular image, um, then we can save our progress. Um, at this point, we can also move on to the next slide. Um, I'm going to go ahead and save progress here. That's going to uh, upload the audio portion of that. And then at this point, um, I can go back to the images. Um, I can cancel, which is what I'm going to do here. Um, and you'll see now I'm back to um, a new screen where it shows my PK presentation. So you're likely only to have one, uh, and it would be the one you've just created or are about to. Um, and then at this point, I can go back in to edit audio.
Um, so as many times as I need to, I can come back to this area to either record per slide or to do the entire presentation. So, um, like I said, once you have your audio recorded um, for all of the slides and you're pretty happy with um, how it is, then you can go ahead and click on save and create video. This takes about five minutes. Um, so um, go get a tea or a cup of coffee. Um, or something. Um, and what you'll see in the notes section is the video creation is processing. So I reload the page um, every minute or two um, just to see if the notes have changed. Um, looks like it's still processing, so I'll wait a few more minutes and then come back and check. All right, at this point, you'll see that the status has changed and that the video has been recently processed. No one's viewed it at this point. Make sure it's published um, and public. And then uh, Sarah, make sure she has it. Um, and then at this point, 